body bags were horror lies. Hello, welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday Night Reviewer. And to bring the end of the uh, Echo Bridge <laughs> week, um, I was meant to bring you the faculty, which I did do, but some terrible Nordisk film old DVD. I completely forgot to order my Blu-ray. So that's a shame. So I haven't had a chance, obviously, to check out the, uh, the special features. I have actually ordered it today on the day of the review. So I'll get to do it at some point. Maybe in one of my future videos, I can have a quick mention about the, the different um, extras that we have on there. But the faculty, so this is a uh, Robert Rodriguez movie from the late 90s, 1998. Uh, we've got Jordana Brewster, we've got Elijah Wood, we've got um, Robert Patrick, we've got Selma Hayek, we've got Famke Janssen. We've got, um, oh, what's his name? Zeke, the um, the main guy. Well, not the main guy, but one of the, 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 the bigger names. Although this is one of his first movies, Josh Hartner. I think this is, is this and H2O were maybe his first two kind of movies, Halloween H2O. Oh, you can set those off. But yeah, so there's quite a quite a large cast with this one. Uh, Well-known people. But anyway, we follow um, fractions of different people within the high school community. And we are watching the faculty. And basically, we have an invasion of the body snatchers situation where they're getting overtaken by this parasite this alien parasite sort of thing so it, it assumes the body and uses uses the body they're, they're like uh, it's a host um and yeah they they're collecting all the faculty members so the high school and then they're taking all the students and eventually they'll take over the town and it expands and expands like invasion of body snatchers with many elements of like the thing plus the kind of the characters that we have it kind of we form our own kind of unlikely breakfast club well kind of how the breakfast club are it's just a uh, group of people put together in a situation so we kind of have our own breakfast club here and it's it's a really entertaining movie um obviously that there's more things like bits and pieces start to happen it's um elijah wood and uh jordana brewster so they're, they're actually working on the um the high school paper he's like a, a geek he's the photographer and she's like one of the the hot ones from the school she dates the uh the the high school um quarterback the star quarterback from the team who's also one of our main characters and um well, they, they see a murder of one of the faculty members by other faculty members. And so they freak out. They see this dead body, uh, another faculty member. So they get the police involved. And obviously they manage to wriggle out of it. At one point, like the headmistress, she actually takes over one of the... She, she um, Oh, how would you say it? she infects one of the police officers so it's spreading all the time they get infected quite easy quite quickly <laughs> actually um elijah with his dad is shooter mcgavin <laughs> which was quite cool to see him in this um but but yes yeah, so, so there's more and more happening so there, there's more and more people kind of being infected you can see their character changes constant drinking water all the time it's like a uh, famke jensen she's like one of the um teachers she's very very um shy she, she's non-confrontational she's very reserved with her dress and how she is and after she's like overtaken it like kind of really puts her out there like she's very sexy how she's like um 
dressing. She's super confident. She's super kind of like kicking Zeke's ass. She's really confrontational with him sort of thing. And it's kind of bringing these different aspects to, to the people. Like uh, it, it's interesting how, how it kind of, how it works. And we have this new uh, teach, this new student, Mary Beth. Um, this, uh, so she kind of joins in with this group. <clears throat> so yeah, it kind of carries along. They actually find a way of how to test um because zeke is kind of this he's kind of set up a bit of a, a bum in this movie like a bit of a high school dropout but he's, he's retaking the air he's actually a very intelligent guy you know, he's made out on this and but he sells like homemade drugs and stuff like that and he finds that like one of these like uh his his homemade drug kits with these biros he'd sniff it um it actually kills them and so he's doing like this homemade test. It's kind of like the the blood test in the thing. <laughs> it's quite cool how how they did that. Uh, there, there's there's quite a few things which are reminiscent of the thing and like how it all. It's very much body snatchers mixed with the thing, with the characters of like Breakfast Club sort of situation. Um, yeah, at one point there's a decapitation scene, and we get these like this head with the tentacles under it like running along so it's kind of like yeah the the, the spider scene um but yeah it's, it's a pretty cool film um you have some kind of questionable cgi at times uh at one point you find like the one of these like it's this little creature thing and it's all kind of dried out and not moving. Uh, Elijah Wood finds it, takes it to one of the, the science teachers. He realizes you drop it in water and it kind of like all these tentacles and it comes to life sort of thing. And it's this new species. Obviously it's this alien one. And it's it's quite cool how, how it kind of goes along. It's, um, it's a bit messy-ish maybe the movie, but it's got a good heart to it. And it's kind of, it is quite interesting and it's, you have your normal tropes. Robert Rodriguez really knows what he's doing, but he hypes it up with, with a little, like, kind of the sexiness. That's the thing, actually. During this, it's kind of linked with uh, Tommy Hilfiger jeans. And so every during Tommy Hilfiger, you all these cool characters. Like I said, it's the cool 90s, late 90s breakfast club sort of thing. And they, they were all doing, like, the, um, the advertisements and, like, all the adverts that you saw around the time of this movie for Tommy Hilfiger was the cast from the, from the movie it had some tie, tie in that the Weinsteins did at that point, obviously to make a lot of extra cash. But it's a really entertaining movie. And it's very cool when it gets to the end, when you find out the, um, the main alien kind of thing. And it's like, uh, we see it change, this big thing with massive tentacles and stuff like that. And it's like, it's it's the, the, the driver host. So when the main alien perishes, obviously all the other ones just die. It's like the queen bee sort of thing, you know, the queen bee, like she dies, then the hive will die. It's kind of the same thing with the alien. And it's a really entertaining movie. I think this is one most people have probably seen or at the very least heard of. But it's kind of, it's not aged so badly. It's been actually been quite a few years since I've seen this. Like, I think it's sort of like one euro from a um, recycle centre. And I hadn't watched it. So it's been a long time since I watched it. And I actually had really, really fun with this. I'm looking forward to getting a Blu-ray. So a decent upgrade. And check out what the extras are in that one. But anyway, that's the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you next week. Thank you. Good night.